something called living large and then there's just living small. And one family in Savage is abandoning their spacious home for something built for a pauper. Fox 9's Jonathan Show with more on why they are committing to this change and why they made such a, a big change. I mean, look at that house behind you. Yeah, Kelsey, <laughs> well, they, loco, they let go of a lot of things in their lives, including a 2,000 square foot home. And while they've lost a lot of space, they say they've gained so much more. So all our dishes are in a drawer. Kim and Ryan Castle say they're content. Here's our kitchen area. We got our two farm, farm sinks here. With two young kids and a pet dog, this young family recently settled into what they call their dream home. It's perfectly enough. Take a look at all the amenities. Here's our wood stove. Keeps us really warm. A wine barrel bathtub, compost toilet, and a pull-out dining table. You guys want to crawl over to your side? And there's even an upstairs bedroom where the family sleeps. The castles say they have everything they'll ever need. We gave away all our furniture, our beds, tables, chairs. This home in Savage is only 207 square feet, and it may be the smallest one in Minnesota. This space brings you together. With looming student loan debts and a hefty mortgage, these 30-somethings decided now would be a good time to take control of their finances. We just wanted to step away from what was happening to our lives and really take control over what we wanted to happen in our lives. So in October, they decided to drop $30,000 to build their new home on this RV lot in Savage. The castles say they're part of a movement to live a life of simplicity and sustainability. Look at there's a bed for Brinkley. And were recently featured on a reality show called Tiny House Nation. Tiny Castle Family. This is where the castles used to live, a 2,000 square foot home in Shakopee that's now for sale and their neighbors are still surprised by their decision. Because it's uprooting everything that you are used to. I went ice fishing in a house bigger than that and three <laughs> days is enough. <laughs> Aside from food, the castle's main expense is for the internet and utilities, which is only 50 bucks a month. And now with all the money they've saved, Kim says she can comfortably homeschool their kids and live off Ryan's teacher salary and give even more to their church. So it's been a process you know, figuring out how to pare down um, and live with only what you need. Otherwise, the castles really have no of, complaints um, or regrets. Makes our life just way easier. They're just a new appreciation for the little things in life. So we'll do that. Now the castles say this is not a lifestyle for everyone, and it took them a couple years of planning to take this step of faith. But they're willing to help anyone else interested in exploring the possibility of owning a tiny house. Hmm. We have more info on our website at myfox9.com. Kelsey, well, back to you. It's very cute, but what about cabin fever on these cold days? Do they feel cramped? Uh, no, they, they feel fine. They say this is a great way to bring them together and stay warm <laughs> and hustle and bustle up together. Well, I like their spirit a lot. Thanks, Jonathan. They're awesome.